My favorite soups are obono and okra. So, because I love it, like, I love the way it draws. Mm -hmm. When I say draw, I mean, like, the gooeyness. I compare my love for okra soup to to be on the same level as my love for cheesy pizza. What's up, guys? It's me, your girl, Free Spirit is. How you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great because I'm doing fabulous. I'm back again, y'all, with another mukbang. And today's mukbang, we're having fufu and okra soup. So, if you guys are ready, welcome, welcome, tribe. And to the newbies, welcome to the Free Spiritist channel. We're about to dig into this fufu. So, if y'all need to pause the video, go ahead and do that. Grab yourself a snack. Come back. Let's eat. I'm going to give you guys the pan. And then we're going to say grace. So, if you're ready, let's get it, y'all. All right, let's pray. Lord bless this food and bless the hands that made it. Amen. Let's eat y'all short and sweet. How y'all doing? So today's meal is fufu and I'm going to eat all the fufu with my hands. And what I did with this fufu, I did, I did a little, you know, I experimented a little bit. So I mixed cassava flour with yam flour. So this is like cassava and yam. It's kind of like dense. A little bit I can't wait to taste it because I've never done that before and then I have okra soup but I also added obono to it obono is kind of like okra it has that slimy gooeyness to it so I added that I did the mix of the two and I have some goat meat and some um, stockfish and well stockfish is basically dry cod fish and um I have some chicken in there so it's like a mix of meat and then some spinach vegetables so Y'all, I'm ready to dig in, so let's go. Ooh. All right. Yeah. This is the fufu, y'all. This is not as sticky. This is, I like this one. I like this one. This kind of reminds me of the fufu that one of my aunties used to make um, in Nigeria when I was there. Y'all, I'm going to pour the soup because I just want to pour the soup. Yes. So it will just be accessible. Mm. That's a nice pour. All right, y'all. Now we can enjoy. Y'all see it? All right. This, I like the way the fufu is. It's very... It's like a mixture of dense and soft. Y'all see that steam coming off there? There y'all go. That's the first bite. Mmm. Mmm. That was a nice one. That with some cow skin. Mm. Wow. Mm, mm -mm. That was some stockfish. So, y'all, you know, I usually make the meal for the weekend fun, and this to me is like, mm -mm -mm. it's been a while since I had fufu. So, I was craving it. Mm hmm And my favorite soup, my favorite soups are obono and okra. So, because I love it, like, I love the way it draws. Mm hmm When I say draw, I mean, like, the gooeyness. I compare my love for okra soup to to be on the same level as my love for cheesy pizza. Mm. 
I love cheesy pizza for the stretch. And I love okra and obama soup for that, that gooeyness that's kind of like stretch. <laughs> so, <laughs> mm. and of course it tastes fabulous. I like the way the soup has so many components inside. The bones, you know, the meat's falling off the bone. So you have the bones floating around with the meat. And then the marrow and stuff that's still in the bones. I get to suck that out. <laughs> while you're eating. Yeah. I wish they had taste of vision. This is like probably one of my best mm, okra soups that I've made. The only thing missing in that is this ingredient called uba. I think it's called oil bean and it's made with palm oil Pepper, onions. Mm. <laughs> All right. Drop some foo foo. But like I was saying, um, oba, oil bean. It's made with palm oil, onions. Some people put onions. Some people don't put onions. They use potassium rock to create like this liquid that they use to um, mix the palm oil in. And that gives it a different flavor too. But oba is not a meal. It's kind of like an appetizer. And you can put whatever meat you want to put it in it when you're making it. But you can also use oba in soups. And it gives the soup an extra something fun to eat while you're bubbling mm, the soup into your mouth. <laughs> when I eat fufu, I like to eat fufu that has a lot of stuff of the soup that has a lot of um goodies inside. See, there's a bone, there's a marrow. Mmm, mmm, it's so good. Mmm. I think this is going to be one of those meals that I'm going to actually finish, y'all. Because the fufu is perfect. It's not too sticky. And I can, you know, make it into a spoon and pick up a whole lot of soup. Ooh, yes. I know some of y'all probably like, ugh. Mm. But you got to try it first. A lot of people shy away from okra soup because of the gooeyness. But if you can get past that gooeyness or maybe not even see it in that light, you would love okra. Because it not only is it delicious and, and very good for your digestive system, but it makes the fufu slide down if you want to swallow so easy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So guys, I mean I think I'm giving you guys an earful about this. <laughs> what are you guys doing this weekend? Please comment down below. Mm. Comment down below what you're eating. I'm just making a mess. And what your plans are for the weekend. Mm. Honestly, I'd love to go out dancing, y'all. You know, once in a blue moon, I like to go out and, you know, dance and, you know, have a few drinks. 
Mm. And it's been a minute. But when I think about going to the club and having to stand, oh my God. That desire kind of dies. <laughs> I wish I could because out here I've never seen I haven't seen um a club or not even a club but a place where you can go have drinks lounge and dance I haven't seen that it's either or it's like okay you're just coming here to have drinks and lounge around and smoke a hookah or come and stand around in the nightclub get drinks and be bumping into people <laughs> and then music's so loud you can't even hear yourself or who you're with so it's like that's another reason why I don't really too much like to go clubbing anymore when I was younger I, I was into that, but now I, I, I'm not. I just like to go to places so I can just relax, <laughs> have me a drink, listen to good music, you know. So what do you guys like doing on the weekend? Comment down below. I, this weekend, I'm, prom I'm just going to most likely be at home. The most I'll do is probably go visit a friend. And hang out with them for a little while. <laughs> That's cool sometimes, you know. <laughs> Meet up for, with friends. And lounge around in their house. <laughs> you know. Enjoy yourself and then come back and pass out. <laughs> That's always fun. So, it's going to be a pretty easy peasy weekend. Mm. Oh, yes. I almost forgot. I don't know if any of you guys care to know, but um, when I was driving home, I heard the, on the radio that Queen Elizabeth of England died 96 <laughs> And I'm like, I don't know. I was kind of like, oh my God, really? Felt some kind of way. Like, I don't know why I had it in my head that she was going to be queen forever. Because literally she had been queen forever. <laughs> I'm, I'm so used to having her there, you know? Regardless of the fact that she's aging, she was, the, you know, the only... live fairy tale icon of what it's like to be a queen in a palace and stuff you know what i mean queen elizabeth it was queen elizabeth you know and now she's gone and it's like oh my god wow she's really gone that's crazy so i guess the person who is next in line is charles so charles is going to become king because he's the one who's next in line. Yo, this is the last one, y'all. Wow. I really, really wanted this. Ooh, I wanted this. So, yeah. That was what I wanted to talk about. You know, the queen's gone and now is Charles going to step up and be king. 
He's going to be king. And it's going to be, I want to see how he's going to be. Because the queen has been queen for like more than 70 years. <laughs> like I think it's like 72 years. So this is going to be interesting. I just, you know, I watch them because they literally are like, Fancy, um, fantasy news, you know, the whole monarchy and whatever. The fact that that whole culture is completely coveted, you know, the queen and, and the whole, you know, the Windsor, Windsor and everything. It's like, wow. It just feels weird. <laughs> it feels like we stopped. <laughs> I just heard it on the radio. I'm sure it's all over the news channels. I'm not sure. I didn't even really turn on the news yet. I'm not, I'm not too fond of the news. Because I never have anything good to tell us. I think um, they are, they fuel what drives us to be worried, you know? They could put in fear in our hearts. And it's like, man. I wish I could turn on the news one day. And be like, we're all good. Life is great. <laughs> no. Or no news, you know? Nothing horrible happened, you know? How often do you get the news? Not that often. I feel like it's not supposed to be, it's not supposed to be that way. News is not made for good news, it's made for bad news. <laughs> it's made for controversy and, and, you know, drama. Mm. Y'all, yeah. I finished all my food. Y'all need to clap for me. <laughs> this rarely happens. So I am very happy. So guys, you guys let me know how you feel about this video by hitting the like button. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Because the truth is, the subscription is absolutely free. No cost to you. Oh, sorry. No cost to you whatsoever. It's absolutely free. You just hit that red subscribe button. And after you hit that red subscribe button, you go ahead and hit the notification bell, which is right next to the subscribe button. And you hit all. So that every time when I publish a video, you'll be notified. When we publish a video, you'll be notified. Yes, there is a week. Yes. So guys, I really enjoyed having you guys' company. I'm ready to get going with my weekend. So... It was fun. If you're going out this weekend, please, please, please be safe. If there are places that you need to wear your mask, please don't forget to wear your mask. Love yourselves. Love one another. And we'll see each other again on the next video. So I'm about to go, y'all. See y'all later. Bye.